guys, so welcome back to the channel Chen Yang here and I hope you guys are all having a fabulous week. So today I'm going to bring you guys along to a full day of eating on my weekend on a rest day. Um, just bring you guys along to see like I guess what I get up to on my weekends is pretty much just client check-ins. Quite a busy day usually on my Saturdays and Sundays. However, I am not training today which is great because it just means I have a bit more time, you know, two to three hours extra to spare. So I thought why not use this time to provide you guys some value some more foodie inspo because I know that's something that you guys really do love and I thought why not also do it as a high protein well my diet is pretty much like high protein anyways it's the amount you would need most of these sources will be vegan apart from fish that I'm gonna have because I've been having I've had salmon in my freezer for a very long time and I think I just need to use it by now I just really haven't craved it like I bought it and I was like omega-3 is a very important like you know good fats from fish and everything because my fat sources have just been dark chocolate and nut butter so I was like let me add something else to this and then I just have not been feeling salmon so it's still in the freezer and I'm like today I'm going to use it and just get it out of the freezer um so other than that everything else in my protein sources will be vegetarian or vegan based um so hopefully this also kind of shows you that you definitely can hit your proteins without protein powder and just using vegan alternatives so yeah that will be today's full day of eating also just a quick update in terms of my life and everything the past few weeks have just been business like i actually hired a business mentor i think i mentioned this in one of my previous videos that should be up by now it was one of those things where i have always wanted to do things myself i'm just that type of person but after a year of running my business i was like you know what i really want to take it to the next level um and actually like i have to admit that I, ha I don't actually know very much because firstly I have never run a business myself right like this is a first and I think I have done you know quite well for having really no background in business I've always had a business mind anyways and I've always been quite entrepreneurial so that's I guess very helpful but you know in terms of actually systemizing things making things more efficient so that I can provide more value for my clients actually utilize time better I was like yeah I actually need help and I think it's very important to actually just hire someone who has done it before who understands exactly what they're doing um, so essentially just cutting out any of the trial and error because I have done that already like my systems wise like when I first started coaching which was like a year and a bit ago now it was all on like Google Excel sheets I know a lot of coaches still do that but you know all the exercises were put on Excel and it just it was clumsy and it just didn't look very nice things are still changing and I'm looking at ways where I can just bring up this community aspect that is the big focus before the end of this year for me is just to really make sure that all my girls because they're all across the world like you know we're physically not together um in different time zones my biggest focus is to be able to just bump up that community aspect really make them feel like they are a part of this big family where they are friends like they're pen pals or whatever you want to call it they're digital friends they just are super comfortable with each other so that is the main focus um girls if you are watching this that is the big focus here for me obviously alongside just making sure that everything else is still going smoothly in terms of exercises progress or that their personal development journey I really want to do like an event or something for my girls but because everyone's literally spread across the world we have girls from the US Hong Kong Singapore Malaysia Thailand Australia um, maybe New Zealand soon the UK um, I feel like I'm missing out on some uh, 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 what other country or oh, Europe as well literally next door it's hard to do I guess like an actual event unless I get to a point one day where I can just buy everyone flights that would be the ultimate goal like I would absolutely love that because I love event planning as well and I used to do that at uni I um was the chair of this like society and I would plan all the events from balls and everything and like hire out hotels so that would be amazing like if I can like be in a position where I can do that in like a year or two's time maybe ambitious three years time I can die happily just to know that I can see all my girls in one, like, I don't know, one place and be like, wow, I brought them all together. But anyways, that is a quick update on, like, business side of things. Quick note also, quick plug, I guess. Not a plug, but it is my business anyways. I am increasing my prices as of next month just due to changes in terms of adding a lot more value into my programs, but also just due to demand. So if you have been thinking about working with an online coach, if you have been thinking about really just cutting to the chase, getting things done currently the right way... 
first time having that support guidance community all of that and just having a cheerleader behind you me um feel free to flick me a message over on instagram which is cz.fit um just with words coaching and I will get back to you and we'll see if we're a good fit, see if I can help you and then we can get started from there before my prices do increase so you can save yourself some moolah, some money. And you know what, girls? You can use that money to buy yourself a cute gym set. So it's like a win-win, right? Anyways, let's go ahead and have our first meal. I'm actually not going to have my first meal just yet because I function a lot better when I haven't had too much food in the morning and I do have chickens, so I just want to get my chickens pretty much all sorted before I have my first meal. So I'm just here with my... Prep cappuccino, strong soy cappuccino, my absolute favorite. It's just the foam, like the foam is so good. Oh, it's all gone now because you can't see it, but the foam is all gone because I had a little walk around and got in half my steps. But anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna go and do my check-ins and we run through some of them because my girls have had amazing wins this week. Like I am such a proud mom. We've had quite a few seven girls start last week. So a lot of them, it was their first time really kind of, you know, getting familiar at the gym overcoming that gym like anxiety really pushing themselves both physically and mentally so it's super rewarding i think you know first few weeks are always the weeks where they're like holy crap like i'm doing so much for myself now and i'm creating this new routine so it's so it's so lovely to watch i will catch you guys when i do have my first meal and pop a comment below if you kind of already know what my first meal is going to be if you've seen my last full day of eating In terms of hunger levels, really great to see you are always full and you're having to eat something every two and three hours to hit your macros. Um, definitely not the worst situation, right? Like, definitely not the worst thing to be always eating. <laughs> um, in terms of wins, I like, honestly, I was just grinning so much reading this. So, firstly, like, having that impromptu dinner out and not feeling you, like you had to say no um, and just ordering and eating intuitively, such a big win, not just from the fact where you were comfortable in just, you know, ordering what you wanted and just eating intuitively without feeling guilty. But I think another big win here is the fact that it was an impromptu dinner as well, because that can be very discomforting for a lot of people, because it's like, yeah, if you have seen a dinner out that you have been able to plan for, mentally you're a bit more, you know, ready for it. You're like, okay, cool. Out, and then you're like, you know what? I'm still gonna go out and I'm not gonna have a problem with saying yes to food because I know that it is about that balance, right? And I also understand now how to eat intuitively and be mindful. I think that is such a big win there and a massive step towards just having that food freedom and having that lifestyle change. It's been incredible just watching you transform yourself and also how much you have learned as well. I think that is key, like actually understanding the process and the why behind what you're doing. So in terms of the reverse diet, like we are at a point where I am very happy with where our food is, especially for such a small human being such as yourself. So we don't have to be too aggressive with bumping food anymore. You know, I think it's very good where we are right now. So we'll only make changes when necessary. So I would like us to just Stay at this for a little longer and then we can look at potentially doing a cut. Let me know if you do need anything this week, but go ahead and have a fabulous week. So let's address this. Um, naturally, I know that you asked a question lower down like, oh, why does this happen? So naturally, as we slowly go through a reverse diet, most people will find that they get a little hungrier because essentially... properly and really stick to it um they'll find that their weight pretty much maintains it will may like it may increase a little bit or even drop a little bit but it kind of fluctuates around the same um whilst you're able to eat a lot more over time and that is because you are fueling your body enough that you know you do things on a daily basis with a lot more energy bumped carbs up to 250 now protein So that brings our calories now up to 2.1 to 2.2K, which is amazing to see that we started from like 1.5K, right? And you know, steps are nice and low at five to 6K. Weight has stayed the same. Yeah, your measurements are, stay, are pretty much the same. Glutes have grown, which is never a bad thing, right? Very happy with how this reverse has gone. Have those two on track meals, which again, I think is important for intuitive eating. So yeah, if you have the time or if you have the opportunity, even with your boyfriend, perhaps, 
just have a meal with him that's not trash. Absolutely love the fact that you feel like you are pretty much eating the same amount as your boyfriend. Like, you know, I think sometimes girls underestimate just how much they really can eat when done so correctly and when they stop depriving themselves. Someone who's so petite and high and framed as you are, being able to eat this much without gaining much fat, like with having your measurements the same, your weight's pretty much the same, you look freaking incredible, you know, strength is flying. It really does go to show that food is fuel. And then mental and emotional health has been so good. The food freedom really helps. And by doing that, you know, you don't really crave dessert or junk food anymore exactly because it's not something that you've told yourself you can't have and it's always like that. Once you say you can't have something, it's, it's like you want it more. So let me know about that um, and go and smash this week. Okay guys, so half my chickens are done and I'm just gonna have my first meal, which is a yogurt bowl and this time I've just got cream of rice as well. So I have been loving, basically on my training days I have 75 grams of, no 80 grams of cream of rice and then a yogurt bowl, which I will have as like dessert. And I've been combining the two and I've really been loving the combination of like yogurt with cream of rice with some frozen raspberries and all that. So I'm gonna make that for my breakfast today. So the cream of rice I am using is complete strength cinnamon cereal so it's like it kind of reminds me of um cinnamon toast crunch and then i'm gonna add some greek yogurt on top and then some figs so have been loving fresh figs lately uh, so yeah let's go ahead and make that So I've just popped the cream of rice into the microwave and I'm just going to leave it to heat up for one minute to one minute and 30 seconds um, and it should make a really nice thick kind of pudding slash cake consistency and then I'll just top it off with the yogurt, fresh berries, figs and some peanut butter for healthy fats. freaking delicious does that look you've got your healthy fat sauce which is the dark chocolate so i know i said peanut butter but then i saw the dark chocolate in the fridge and i was like you know what feel like some dark chocolate and because the cream of rice is hot it's gonna melt nicely so i was like i'm gonna go for dark chocolate got the figs there they're so pretty i swear like just cutting up fruit nicely makes it look so much better and then you've got your frozen raspberries because i do love my berries the greek yogurt and the cream of rice underneath and then i've also just topped it off with some sweet cinnamon because I put cinnamon on literally everything I eat. So yeah, I'm gonna go and finish this up and then get back to check-ins and I will catch you guys at my next meal. Hey guys, so it is almost 2 p.m. now and I've done my check-ins and I'm just gonna make meal two. So meal two will be my absolute favorite vegetarian sausages slash vegan from Linda McCartney. They're the rosemary and red onion ones. They have the best macros. Um, they also have like a variety of other sausages, but these ones, are amazing and they just taste phenomenal as well so i'm actually going to go ahead and buy some pesto because i realized we've run out but i'm thinking of making like a pesto pasta with the vegetarian sausages because i usually have these sausages with bagels but i'm just feeling some pasta like i haven't had pasta in a while so i'm gonna go and make that i'm gonna put the pasta just on the stove now and it's just on low heat so that it doesn't overflow and I don't know, drown my kitchen. Um, and then I'm gonna quickly go run to Sainsbury's, grab some pesto, and then I will be right back. So I'll catch you guys on when I'm back, and then we shall enjoy lunch, a very late lunch, but when I'm doing my check-ins, I just wanna sit there and I just don't move <laughs> until afterwards. So yeah, I will quickly do a little grocery haul and be back.
So guys, I'm just, uh, I've just got the pasta and the sausages in the frying pan now. Basically those rosemary sausages have like a really nice like oil that oozes out afterwards when it's been cooked. So I put in my pasta into the frying pan as well just to kind of soak up the flavors there. And whilst that was cooking, um, one of my clients messaged me. I'm so excited for her. She's got a wedding coming up. So when we first started, this was like 17th of August. She was like, I want to lose around 10 to 15 pounds. Like... I went for a dress fitting um, and obviously gained quite a lot of weight ever since like for, since my first fitting and now it doesn't really fit and basically just stressing out. So I was like, look, like let's try to get you down as much as possible and get you fitting into your dresser, just feeling, you know, your your best self, but in the most sustainable way possible. Like obviously we're going to have to really push these first few weeks, but then after your wedding and after your honeymoon, let's make sure we go into more of a sustainable fat loss period where you can, you know, still have a lot of other things going on in your life. But right now we will push. So she has been working super hard. She's been, you know, like, as you can imagine, wedding planning is stressful. So she's been in and out, like driving around, getting things sorted. And she's still been on point with her meals, her cardio and all of that. So I am so, so proud of her. Um, and she's just messaged me being like, my weigh-in this morning was 173. I'm so close to 10 pounds down already. Like, thank you for so much. Like, I'm, you know, still enjoying all the foods and they're keeping me so full. I feel so amazed by that because before she came to me, she felt like she had to, you know, cut out a lot of different foods. She was trying to do things on her own. Um, and then when I gave her her meal plan, she was like, is it okay that I'm having grains and bread and, like, cheese and, like, ham and all of this for breakfast like you know i need to lose weight and i'm like yeah there's no need to cut out the foods in your diet and so she's still amazed to this day that she is full enjoying all the different foods enjoying carbs whilst having lost almost 10 pounds now since we've started which has been like just three weeks um and she's feeling freaking amazed she's feeling good um energy's in a good place she went for her second dress fitting well her final dress fitting i think and it felt so good like she fit into her dress again this just oh it makes me so happy with what i do i just yeah so rewarding but i'm so excited for her wedding and i was like please send me photos of the venue and everything you and your dress like it's going to be such a special day so i'm so excited for her and yeah it's been a while now it's almost three and i really need to eat but i just i just get carried away with my chickens so let's go and finally feed my belly because i am hungry can we just admire how good this freaking looks look at this oh my gosh now we're going to put some pesto into this as well. So I've just got this pesto that I grab. If it focuses. Hello. It's just red sun dried. Oh, it is, it is not. Okay, there we go. It's focused. It's not focused. There we go. Sun dried red pesto pasta. So I'm just going to add that to this. That is so nice and super simple. Like it literally took me five, 10 minutes. And the macros for this, I'll pop it on the side. Yeah, super simple, super fast. You've got your fats, proteins, and your carb source. It's gonna leave you feeling full for quite, quite a while. And it is pretty substantial if you ask me. So next time when you say I struggle to eat on track because I don't have time, I can't hit my proteins because I don't have time, I'm a vegetarian or a vegan, I don't have time. <laughs> Um, look, it is just about finding those staple meat substitute sources that are high in protein. Like, it's super simple just to throw things together. I think it's just sometimes we just make excuses for ourselves. I will say I've been guilty of that, of doing that in my past, where I'm like, I just don't have time. I'm just going to order. But realistically, you ordering Uber Eats and waiting for it to come is going to take long. And then you just throwing some stuff in the pan. And yeah, 10 minutes later, you've got a meal that hits your macros, keeps you on track, is really yum as well. Pasta is not the enemy, carbs are not the enemy, sausages are not the enemy, whatever you've been trying to restrict. Like, look, you can eat these foods and be on track, okay? To be fair, my diet right now is pretty much just pasta and like carbs and bagels and things that people may say 
are, or are labeled as bad scary foods in diet culture but look there is no such thing as good or bad foods okay okay guys like everything in moderation please so anyways I'm gonna enjoy this and then i finish my check-ins so i'm just putting together pretty much like client wins to put on my story and all social media stuff like that i find that the weekends i do have a bit more time because i don't have my other job pinging at me <laughs> i don't have calls to be on for that so it is nice just having that time to do my creative stuff um pulling together you know client wins check-in wins all of that because that is very important for my own marketing as well but also just because i want to show off my clients like i'm so proud of them i just want to showcase what they do to inspire other girls because i think sometimes until we see what other girls are doing we don't realize how much we're capable of and it's i think really motivating to be like far out this girl she's done this in one week i can do this too if she can do that i can do that so that's also why i like just like sharing my client wins that's kind of why i also spam my stories with them like i don't care that it's not the most appealing content maybe i don't care that maybe it doesn't look nice because i know that sometimes on social media it's all about like oh like what stands out what looks good and it's like yeah, maybe a bikini photo of someone looks great. Cool, that sells. But realistically, I just want to give more value. And I think value does come from seeing what other people do, what my clients do, their wins, their progress. I think that's so much more like more important than a fo nice photo of me. Like, yes, that's easy to use and I don't have to ask to use it. It's just photos of me. But I think what's most rewarding is actually seeing real girls, real results real progress. I'm gonna go do that and I will catch you guys at my next meal. Hey guys, so 4.30 p.m. now and I was just about to make my next meal and then I realized I wanted to grab some light leafy salad because I was just feeling something refreshing. Went to Sainsbury's and they were all like sold out of salads. Not sure what's going on here. Maybe the UK suddenly woke up and was like, hey, we care about our health. Let's go buy some salads. I don't know. Got carried away a little. I was walking around Sainsbury's and I was like, I saw this and I've never tried it. It's Oreo Crunchy Bites. So I was like, you know what? I might just grab this and have this for dessert tonight and give it a try. I think it's just like mini Oreo cookies dunked in chocolate. So that looks interesting. Um, not the best macros, not that I care at the moment because it's part of my snacks and 80-20 balance. And then also saw this. So I've seen this in shops for a while now. I think it came out when I was on prep and I was like, wouldn't mind trying this but then i was like mm, golden caramel chocolate i don't know i'm just i just haven't really had any cravings so i was like oh that sounds cool but i'm not really fussed about trying it and then my client natasha if you're watching this this is because of you she messaged me she's like you have to try it and it's so good and i was like you know like i have heard a lot of good things about it I've seen it in stores, seems like everyone's talking about it. I'm pretty sure it first came from like Australia or New Zealand, I think. And then Tasha was like, Chingyang, you have to try it. So I was like, okay, well, I saw it in Sainsbury's and I was like, well, maybe this is a sign. So maybe I do need to try it. So I will have this for dessert as well today, tonight. Also grabbed a Halo Top ice cream tub because ice cream makes me happy <laughs> um it's also getting very hot basically yeah outfit change it's getting a bit warm in london which is which never happens so i thought why not wear funky trousers and a nice crop top before it does get very cold and then instead of the salad that i was looking for i grabbed myself a cucumber <laughs> the way like cucumbers are funny to hold i feel like they're like a little sword it's like um gonna put my cucumber down and then got some spring onions because for my next meal i do want to make a salmon stir fry and rice like basmati white rice and spring onions so good with some soy sauce some asian you know so good um and then red onions because i haven't had them in a while and i feel like they always go so well in the pan just like fried before you add in like any other veggies red onions adds a kick of flavor yeah, that's all I got from Sainsbury's. I went in wanting just a bag of salad, um, something refreshing, and I came out with Oreos and caramel chocolate. Caramel? Caramel. Caramel chocolate and Halo Top, which is already in the freezer. But at least I got myself some healthy cucumber stuff. So, balance. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and make my stir fry salmon. And I will show you guys what it looks like afterwards, but essentially I'm just going to 
I think I'm just gonna put the salmon in the pan and just pan fry it because I do have foil, but it's oh my god, my salmon's frozen. I haven't defrosted it. Ah, that's a problem. I could defrost it now. You know what? I'm gonna boil some water and defrost it. Defrost it. Yeah. Can you do that? I think so. Because usually my parents would leave it outside to defrost. I feel like there's this thing where you can't use froze, like you can't boil frozen stuff and make it def defrost. So change of plans guys, I'm just gonna do chicken stir fry because I have some chicken from yesterday. And I'm very hungry and I cannot be asked waiting for my salmon to defrost. So I'm just gonna have salmon on another day. <laughs> just yeah, spontaneous, you know. Chicken it is. Also aware that at the start of this video, I just got some hair in my eye. I said it would be like a pescatarian slash vegetarian based protein source full day of eating. I've kind of ruined that by adding chicken, but you pretty much could use salmon. It just has a bit more fats in it. That's really all. Whereas chicken has a little less fats in it. So I just have, I can just add in more like pesto or something. Yeah. This is a full day of eating with mainly vegan sauces apart from chicken. Yeah, that doesn't work. It's just a full day of eating, but mainly vegan with one meal that's, that's an exception. So to all my Asian girls out there that are watching, is it, was it just my grandma who would have spring onions with white bread and soy sauce? It sounds really weird but it was such a good combo like just spring onion she would literally just like peel it apart like this um and then just put it between like a piece of white bread and then drizzle soy sauce on it i don't know if that's just what she did or if that's like a common asian thing because obviously i grew up in new zealand so i was pretty much whitewashed like i didn't really have many asian friends around me so i don't know if that's a common thing like that's just what grandma's give you to eat but oh my gosh it's such a good combo and I haven't had it in so long but yeah if you're at home try it spring onion bit of soy sauce on white bread or just bread so so good I don't know what it is but it's just it's so simple but so good um, but that's not what we're, ha what we're having today today we are having fried rice so chicken fried rice um, I've just chopped up some red onion hair I'm boiling my rice at the moment and then I'm just gonna put it all into a saucepan and just stir fry it and add some soy sauce into it also, I do have, ooh, my rice nearly just came out of the pan, not the rice, the water. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I also have like a stir fry mix from Sainsbury's and it's pretty much just like bamboo shoot. I think, um, what's, what's the other thing called? Um, hold on. This. It's oriental style vegetable stir fry. It's pretty much mixed vegetables with bamboo shoots and water chestnut so what's in it bean sprouts carrot green cabbage chinese leaf bamboo shoot water chestnut red pepper red pepper 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 mango tout and white onion so yeah gonna have all of this as well so volume af but i do love my stir fry vegetables being fools drift in the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you There we have the stir fry, fried rice with chicken and added some cashew nuts for some healthy fats and just because cashew nuts are yum. Hey guys, so back and I don't have my next meal but I have a snack here. So this is a taro, 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 taro bun that I bought from the Asian supermarket around the corner and I bought it a while ago and it's been in a freezer for ages and I just have not 
I just forgot about it essentially and um there's like two left. <laughs> my flatmate, my friend who I live with has clearly gone through them before me. So, I'm just gonna give it a try now. This is the Terabon. I miss Asian food. Let me have a look. Look at that. Yum. I hope it's actually nice. Mm, it smells good. Let's do a taste test. Mm. Mm, that is really good. It has like a coconutty taste. Spot on. Mm. I'm currently just updating all my clients' programs. So I've just moved them all to a new training program or training platform or my one-to-one -one clients. So a lot of them actually have new workouts coming. So I'm just going through. So camera just cut me up because the storage was like, no, no, no more Chen Yang. Um, but basically I've transferred all my one-to-one -one clients onto a new training platform that works a lot better. So I'm just in the process of updating all their programs and just transferring meal plans and macros and everything. Hence why this last week has been a bit hectic, but the platform is a lot nicer. So it's all worth it. So that's kind of what I've been up to whilst eating my <laughs> bun here. I'm just gonna continue cracking on with this um, and then I will make my meal, my next meal later when I can be asked and getting out from this chair and making some food. <laughs> okay guys, so back for my last meal before dessert. Obviously that has to be the last meal, but my last proper dinner sort of savory meal. It will be again those sausages because I adore them. And then I've also got some baby potatoes, which I've just microwaved for like 10 minutes and they've kind of softened up and then I'm just gonna put them in the frying pan with the sausages uh, just to soak up the flavor and the oils there, just to make it slightly crispy. And then for my fat sauce, I've got some cheese and then also some peanut butter that I'm gonna drizzle over the sausages. I think I have found my new favorite combo. I swear I say this every time, but potatoes with a melted cheese. So just fry the potatoes um, in the frying pan with the sausages, put some cheese on top, let it melt, and voila, you have your own like load of fries, homemade load of fries, but with probably like a quarter of the oils used from a restaurant. But look how freaking good this looks. So yeah, gonna go finish, oh, nearly dropped my potatoes gonna finish this off um and then i do have my dessert left which i will show you guys later probably just gonna watch some youtube now because i have literally been working all day and i just feel like my brain is a bit fried so yeah gonna go ahead and do that and i will catch you guys at my next meal also the sausages have peanut butter drizzled on top because mm, peanut butter on everything just like i don't know what doesn't go with peanut butter Last meal of the day. So we have cream of rice with some Halo Top peanut butter ice cream. Some of the Oreo thingies that I was talking about earlier. I actually might have a taste test of this. I don't taste the Oreo. It's just mainly chocolate. But it's quite nice. Also, the caramel. I thought it would be better. <laughs> I still prefer my dark chocolate. It's nice, but 
it doesn't taste like much it kind of just tastes like white chocolate but less creamy it's not bad but i feel like people have overhyped it anyways this will be my last meal so half a tub of halo top I'm, i've just left the other half like still in there and then the oreos some blueberries cream of rice and yeah that is me sorted for the day so I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating and as always I hope it really shows you that you can have that 80-20 balance enjoy the foods you are eating enjoy the treats here and there and still reach your goals like there is no food groups that are off limits I hope that my full days of eating do really show you guys that and as always if you feel like having that guidance that support a proper plan in place in terms of training nutrition can really help you achieve your goals i do work as an online coach so you can find more about me on my instagram which is cz.fit and i have helped so many girls just go from a position where they had all these food labels and just a very uncomfortable relationship with food and exercise to literally finding food freedom training to get stronger and they are doing so well so if you are a female out there who is an action taker who wants to create a better quality of life for yourself one that you can look at and be like dang i'm waking up every day so happy strong and healthy flick me a message with coaching on instagram and let's get started i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a like and give it a like thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you guys very soon bye